<laughs> Look at that, you guys. Perfectly made 400 milligram chocolate bar. Recently, I've really gotten into making my own edibles from concentrates I've gotten from the dispensary. You guys have been asking me to make YouTube videos about some of the recipes I've made, so today I'm going to show you the easiest one I've learned so far. Today we're going to be making medicated chocolate bars. It's extremely simple and that's why I wanted to show you this method first. All you're going to need is a chocolate of your choice, MCT oil or coconut oil, and either distillate or RSO. Today I'm going to be using distillate, but both will work the same for this recipe. You can use any form of extract as long as it's been decarbed. Some equipment you'll need is a heat safe bowl, a pot, a rubber spatula, a Pyrex measuring cup, some measuring utensils, a plastic syringe, you can find these in most pharmacies, and then you'll need a mold for the chocolates. If you don't want to do bars, you can do molds that look like anything you want. There's stars, there's bears, you can really get creative. Now the amount of chocolate you use depends on how potent you want your chocolate bars to be. The more chocolate you use, the less potent your edible will be. Today I'm using a gram of distillate that has about 830 milligrams of THC in it, and I'm going to be making two chocolate bars, so each chocolate bar is gonna have about 400 milligrams of THC. I'll explain how to calculate how potent your edibles are a little bit later on in the video. But for now, let's get started making our edibles. First thing to do is fill your Pyrex measuring cup with water and put it in the microwave for about two minutes. After that two minutes is done, take out your now hot water and drop your syringe of distillate in that water. This is to make the distillate more of a liquidy consistency so it's easier to mix in with the chocolate. You do not want to skip this step. Distillate is very thick if it's just been sitting in room temperature. But now we're going to set up our double boiler by getting a pot with a little bit of water, not too much. You don't want the water to be above where the bottom of the bowl is going to be sitting on top of it. Bring that pot to a boil, then turn it to low while topping it with your heat safe bowl. The heat from the steam is going to be our heat source. And now we're going to add just under a teaspoon of MCT oil. MCT oil or coconut oil supposedly helps speed up the digestion process of an edible, allowing you to feel the full effects quicker. You let the MCT oil sit for about a minute, let it get nice and warm before you add your distillate. And now we're going to take that distillate out of the water and pour it into the bowl. Just look how easy it is to squeeze out of the syringe. It's going to mix perfectly. Now stir the distillate with the MCT oil, let it all get mixed together. And now we're gonna add our chocolate. I'm using just under two and a half ounces of milk chocolate here. It melts easier if you break it up a little bit. Mix it while it's melting and make sure your stove is on the lowest possible temperature. You do not want to burn the chocolate. Keep stirring until it's liquidy. And now we're going to fill our syringe and transfer the chocolate into the molds. You don't need the syringe, but the syringe makes it a much cleaner process. And since the chocolate is medicated, I want to waste as little of it as possible, so I feel like the syringe really helps with that. This process takes a minute, but the result is worth it. I put a little cutting board under the mold to help them keep flat. This especially helps when you're transferring them into the fridge. And make sure the molds are filled completely. Nobody wants airy chocolate. You can bang and shake the molds a little bit to help everything even out. Once the molds are filled, you want to put them in the fridge for 30 minutes. After that 30 minutes, you want to transfer them to the freezer for about another hour. And now it's time to enjoy. Got my molds fresh out of the freezer right here, you guys. I'm gonna show you how good these look. Don't wanna break it. It's nice and frozen, so typically they're not gonna break on you. Boop. Oh yeah. <laughs> look at that, you guys. Perfectly made 400 milligram chocolate bar. Bust out the second one. Oh yeah. Holy crap, you guys, that looks like a professional chocolate bar. My plan is to cut these in half so they're 200 milligram squares. I feel like that's a little bit more of a realistic dose. I've done this before and gotten a little bit more creative. This is like a cookies and cream bar. I used white chocolate and Oreos. Since I used Oreos, I had to use a little bit less chocolate, so I used about two ounces of chocolate to get two chocolate bars. Here's another one I've done where I added marshmallow and graham crackers to it, so it's like a medicated s'mores bar. All of these chocolate bars were made from the same strain with the same batch of distillate and the same amount. So in theory, each chocolate bar should have the same amount of potency, and that's kind of what I was shooting for here. I just wanted a bunch of different chocolate bars that I all knew were the same potency. If you use two different types of distillate or RSO in another one, one might hit you a little bit harder than the other, but since these were all made with the same amount, the same strain from the same batch, they should be a very consistent high. And the reason why I like these little squares is I feel like it makes it easier to dose out a lower dose. If a chocolate square like this has nine little chocolate squares in it and has 215 milligrams, it should be somewhere between 20 to 23 milligrams 
per chocolate. So I can either have like nine doses of 23 milligrams or an entire dose of about 200. It's super easy to find out how many milligrams of THC is in your edibles. It just takes a little bit of math and a little bit of knowledge. All you need to know is the amount of product you put in it and the total THC of that product. If you're using a gram of distillate that has 80% THC, it has 800 milligrams of THC in that gram. If you're using two grams of distillate that has 80% THC, there's 1600 milligrams in that batch. So once you find the total THC in your batch, just divide that number by the amount of treats you made. So if you used 800 milligrams of THC in that batch and you got 20 candies, each candy is gonna be roughly 40 milligrams of THC. This concentrate I was using had 83% THC in it. So it has about 830 milligrams of THC in the gram. Personally, I like to take a couple milligrams off my dose because I feel like not all of it makes it from the bowl into the edible. So that's why I consider these bars 400 milligrams instead of 415. I hope you learned something about edibles and I hope this maybe even inspired you to make your own. It's super simple. And all edible recipes are pretty easy. If you can bake or cook, you can probably make edibles. And let me know if you guys want to see more edible videos in the future and if so, what kind of videos you want to see. Do you want me to make tutorials? Do you want me to just consume some edibles here and film my reaction? Do you want me to make super easy edibles? Do you want me to make super potent edibles? Do you want me to make super challenging edibles? Let me know because I want to make videos that you guys want to watch. So please give me any input. If there's something that you guys want to see on my channel, let me know in the comments down below. I was thinking about doing some reclaim edibles. I don't know if you guys have even heard of that before, but you can actually use the reclaim from the rigs you dab to make edibles. And I've been collecting that for a couple weeks now and I was thinking about just making some comically strong edibles with them. But that's the video you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more videos. I got a bunch more on the way. And leave a comment. Let me know what edible related videos you want to see in the future. And let me know which chocolate bar you think looks the best between the s'mores bar, the milk chocolate, or the cookies and cream. And don't forget if you haven't already, check out my online website pponlineshop.com. It's the number one online head shop on the internet and it's only getting doper every day I'm adding new products so make sure you check it out and if you need more pot porn in your life you can basically follow me everywhere else on the internet I'm pot underscore porn on snapchat I'm pot porn on Instagram I'm pot porn TV on Twitter been making a lot of edibles on my snapchat so make sure you check that out if you want to be up to date with all the edibles I'm making but that's the video you guys thank you so much for watching my name is Jeff peace oh my god that's more bar fire hell yeah man